Hi! Today I'm going to show you some pointillism techniques. Now if you remember, pointillism is a style of art that uses only dots. So not every material is going to be the best for creating pointillism art. Two materials that are really good are markers and paint. So in our sketchbooks, we're going to practice these pointillism techniques using either markers or paint. It's up to you. Let's get started. Okay, so in my sketchbook, I just made a worksheet for myself so I know what I'm working on and I have my little categories. So I'm going to practice shading with markers and blending different colors together with markers. And then I'll practice shading with paint and blending different colors together with paint. So pointillism is kind of similar to cross hatching in that if you want your value scale to be darker, you need to do more dots closer together. And if you want it to be lighter, you do less dots farther apart. So for my shading circle, I'm going to make the left side of it darker and the right side of it lighter. So I'm just going to start making little dots. And what I'm doing right now, making these little dots, that's called stippling. So that's the actual technique that you're learning. Okay, so now I'm getting closer to the center, so I'm slowly going to add less dots and they're just going to be a little further apart. And then here I'm going to leave it white because that will be my lightest value. So that's shading with pointillism. Now I'm going to blend some colors together using pointillism. So I'm going to be blending red and orange and I think I might actually add a little bit of yellow in there. So I'm going to use all of my warm colors and I'm going to start with the darkest one first. I'm going to have an imaginary line here where I know that I want to start transitioning to my next color which will be orange. So when I get near that line, I'm going to spread my dots out a little bit more so there's room for that orange to fit. Then I'll add orange in this area. And then as I start getting to this imaginary line over here, I'm going to fade out my orange so I can make room for my yellow. Now I'm going to add my yellow over here. Okay, so the trick to get this to fade from red all the way over to yellow is to have these areas where you have a little bit of both. So I started off with only red and in the middle there's only orange, but in between there I sprinkled a little bit of both. So that's how to get that smoother transition. Alright, let's move on to paint. Okay, so when I paint, for pointillism, I'm actually going to use some Q-tips. And that's going to give me some really nice uniform dots. Now for shading, you're going to use tints and shades. So I'm actually just going to use black and white. 
And then for blending, I'll use two colors that are near each other on the color wheel to blend. So let's start off with shading. I'm gonna start with only black. And I just dipped the tip of my Q-tip in there. And I'll put lots of dots overlapping each other. And you'll notice your Q-tip dries out after just a few dots, so you have to re-dip quite a bit for this. As I get closer to the other side, I'll do less dots, and I'm gonna let my Q-tip dry out quite a bit because I really don't need any more black. And then the cool thing with paint is if you paint one color on top of another color, they kind of mix together. So I'm gonna to flip my Q-tip around, put some white on this end, and I'll let them mix together in my circle. Now I can keep flipping my Q-tip back and forth so I can get that nice faded transition that's Okay, that was really quick. So, once I have colors on both ends of my Q-tips, I don't want on both ends of my Q-tip, I don't want to use it anymore. So, I'm going to set that off to the side and make sure I throw it away. And then, to blend, I'm going to use analogous colors. So that just means colors that are close together on the color wheel. So I used red, orange, and yellow with my markers. Those are analogous. Red is next to orange, and orange is next to yellow. So I think maybe I'll do the cool colors for my paint. So I'm gonna start off with purple. As I get to that imaginary line, I'll do less dots farther apart. And I'll flip around and get some blue. And now I can keep flipping my Q-tip and letting those colors blend more and more. So they just fade into each other. And then I'll have to get a new Q-tip so I can get my green. And that is how you blend by stippling using paint.